The blast happened at perhaps the worst possible moment. Many families living in simple homes alongside a major motorway were still asleep when the gas tanker crashed into a truck. The road between Mexico City and Pachuca will also have been busy at that early hour, with thousands of commuters making their way into the city center. Local residents described how they initially thought it was an earthquake as the ground began to shake and there was an electricity blackout. We didn't know what it was exactly. It felt like an atomic explosion or something. You can't describe things until you see or experience them. But as they fled their homes, they saw that a huge fireball had engulfed much of their neighborhood and claimed the lives of many of their neighbors. My uncle's wife and my cousins were the ones affected. They're at the hospital now. They were among those who were able to get out of the house. The emergency services spent hours bringing the blaze under control and accident investigators sifted the wreckage for clues as to the cause. Among those offering their condolences was President Enrique Peña Nieto, and several state politicians visited the site to meet victims' families. Although all evidence points to a tragic accident, many have asked how it was possible the homes could be built so close to the side of a busy motorway. For now, the community of Ecatepec is in mourning. As the hours passed, the number of dead steadily rose and more people were left without their families nor their livelihoods. The sad thing for the residents of this part of the state of Mexico is that only 30 years ago there was a much bigger accident just a few kilometers along this same stretch of motorway. It seems their efforts to have high explosive gas distribution plants removed from what is a residential area have fallen on deaf ears during that time. Will Grant, BBC News, Mexico City.